Hello everybody. Tagore was an Indian writer who won the Nobel Prize in 1913. One of his stories is about a little boy called Emil. It's called The King's Messenger or The King's Postman. Emil is a little boy who is very sick. He's locked up at home. He cannot go out. But through the window, he sees the people passing by and becomes very friendly with them. He is very generous. He also has a dream. He hopes that one day the postman will come and bring him a letter from the king. Time goes by, he gets weaker and weaker, and then the great surprise. He does not receive a letter, it is the king himself who comes to visit him. They have a wonderful conversation. And finally, Emil knows he can die happily because he is going to a wonderful home. He is going to the King of Kings. In today's gospel, we see Jesus who sends the apostles out on a mission. They are his messengers. In a certain way, they are his postmen. They do not carry post bags. Their message is in their hearts. It's in their courage, in their kindness, in their goodness. They do not drop a letter in a letter box. They speak to the heart. They are called to bring the good news. And Jesus does not send them out one by one. He sends them two by two. He wants his messengers to accompany each other, to encourage and help each other, and perhaps sometimes to put up with each other. Today, Jesus needs messengers just as much as he did 2,000 years ago. And he is inviting each one of us to be his messenger, to be his postman or postwoman. Even in the small things we do, everything we do is part of a message. And so we can get up every morning asking, Lord, what good news do you want me to bring today? Where do you want me to bring it? To whom do you want me to bring it? Who is the person who is waiting for your good news today that I can bring? There is a psalm which says very nicely how beautiful on the mountain are the feet of the one who brings good news. This psalm is speaking about us when we allow ourselves to be messengers, postmen of the King of Kings. God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday.